same many blessings be the name of the Lord. It's a truth. It sure is. I hope if I ever dry up, somebody pokes me with a hot poker. Remind me what hell's going to be like. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I appreciate that. Embarrass that a little bit. He gets used to it. He ought to by now. He's still my little baby. I don't care if he is almost a college graduate. You are too, Jenna. Yeah, I'll tell some on her sometime. Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little, little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Boy, that verse opened up, didn't it? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Oh, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, Nick's had some time. To, you know what, Buck? The Lord wants you to be to Him just like old Nick is yeah, to you. Exactly right. He yeah. wants it. He wants you. Listen, yeah. old Nick, when he's with Daddy, he ain't scared of nobody. No, sir. When he's got Daddy by the hand, he don't care to go into the biggest crowd. He don't care to cross that highway because why? He knows that Daddy's going to take care of him. But if we'll get like that with the Lord, boy, I'll tell you what, Gary, we'll have victory with the Lord. We'll have a relationship that we enjoy. That's right, Friend of mine told me one of the saddest times ever was, Gary, got out of his car at Kmart and said he'd get out of the car and said his little boy run around the car. He said that, uh, and grabbed him by the hand, walk in there. And he said the little boy was getting of age, you know, and starting to spend more time with his buddies. Gary uh -huh. said one evening they pulled into Kmart, he ran around the car and grabbed his daddy by the hand. Halfway across the parking lot, he seen one of his little buddies and jerked his hand out. To, uh -huh. He said it broke his heart. Why? Because he knew that there was a gap being developed between them, Gary. Yeah. That's the same way we are with the Lord. But we need to hold tighter. I don't care how we are. We need to hold tighter than we've ever held That's him before. Right. That's it. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get for giving me time off. <laughs> right. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. That's right. Listen here. Whosoever shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. <laughs> Whosoever shall offend one of these little ones mm -hmm. which believe in me, it were better for him mm -hmm. that a millstone yeah. were hanged about his neck right. that he were drowned into the depths of the sea. Hey. You know another good thing about a child, Gary? Gary mm -hmm. Child's got patience. More patience. Yes, sir, they're long-suffering. They're more than an adult. Yeah. You believe me? Well, my children, listen, they all seem like they got a, a short attention span. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. But in a sense, Gary, yeah. they'll go on and they'll go on mm -hmm. and they'll go on and they'll go on. And, and they'll wait there. I remember when we was growing up, our first house, I believe, uh, Mom told me here not too long ago, she found, a, I believe, our first house of Jody, Dad, and Mom financed $800. We was poor. And, and, and the payment, Lord, the payment was outrageous. I think it was like $36 a month. I remember, I don't know, I, I, we was talking, Gary, living, living in a little house down on the hill behind my grandmother down at Belva. And uh, they was trying to figure out. I remember this all. I said, my Lord have mercy. We're going in debt buying a house. And I remember them saying, listen, God's brought this country a long way. $36, I think, for three or four years, Gary. I mean, a long time, yeah, long time. They was worried whether or not they could find it. But anyway, it was on the God pile. Those of you that don't know what God is, that's a reject off of coal. And... Uh, couldn't get grass to grow or nothing, but when we used to go down, I believe the, it was named Joe's. Wasn't it a Joe's nursery somewhere in town or something? Huh? Joe Levinson. Yeah. Went down to our barber and bought two apple trees and brought them there, put them in the yard. Listen, one year they hadn't been out for two or three years. One spring about this time, one of them, blew, one of them started budding leaves and the other didn't. And, uh, Dad let it go for a few weeks and he told mom, he said, I'm going out. He said, I'm going to tear that. I'm going to get me a handsaw and cut the apple tree down. It's dead and went out there. 
Doug, my brother, was out there and he said, Daddy, what are you doing? He said, I'm going to cut that tree down. He said, oh, Daddy, don't cut it down. He said, son, look at it. It's dead. He said, Daddy, give it just a little while longer. Oh, oh, he said, it ain't bothered nothing. It ain't bothered nothing. You know what Dad done, Gary? Dad, that old Doug, he'd go out there. I remember he had an old pail and he'd pour water around that thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dad, listen, that got Dad's compassion. You know what Dad done? He got him a hoe, Homer, and he went out there and started digging around that thing. Mm -hmm. Went and listen, got some fertilizer yeah. put around. Yeah. Oh, listen, when it was ready to be cast into the fire. Yeah. Why? Because of compassion. Uh -huh. Listen, and the patience of a child. Mm -hmm. That tree lived there. It wasn't long that little bugs started coming out on it. Uh -huh. And the last time I was, at, at, when we left there many years long, later, uh -huh. that tree was just as strong as the other. Uh -huh. Why? Because the Bible said that God is long suffering, not willing that any should perish. Aren't you glad he was long suffering? Yeah. 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 <laughs> My goodness gracious. God needs to get our attention sometimes. Right. Yeah. The judge, when he begins his court session, he'll beat on the, with his gavel on the desk there. He said, let there be order in the court. And Gary, when somebody wants to make an, a, a public announcement, mm -hmm. the first thing they'll do, they'll walk up to the podium. They'll say, could I have your attention, please? Mm -hmm. I was thinking this week, Gary, I believe with all of my heart, oh, God's yeah. saying that to his people right. and to the world today. Could I have your attention, please? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Gary, even though everything might seem dark and dismal, I'll tell you what, Jesus Christ came to seek and to say, that which was lost. I know it's important that we survive here, but in a few short years, this thing's going to be over, Gary. The coming of the Lord is nigh. And that's what's going to be matter. That's what's going to matter if we're ready to meet the Lord. Amen. Who's woe unto the world because of all offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. Uh -huh. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. Wherefore, if thy hand or thy foot offend thee, cut them off and cast them from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life, halt or maim, rather having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting fire. Thy offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better to thee, for thee to enter into life with one eye Rather having two eyes and be cast into hellfire. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. How thank ye. If a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be going astray. Doth he not leave the ninety and I? Yeah. Goes into the mountains and seeketh that which is going astray. Girl, we've been yeah. rescued. Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. He left the fold to come to us. I'm glad he did, aren't you? Over in Luke chapter 19. If you want to turn over there, if you don't have to, a familiar scripture. Starting at verse 1, Jesus entered and passed through to Jericho. Behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was chief among the publicans. And he was rich, and he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was of a little stature. He ran before and climbed up to a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up. He saw him and he said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. He made haste and he came down and he received him joyfully. When they saw it, they all murmured, saying that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. If I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore unto him fourfold. Gary, that's well and good, but all oh, that really don't matter. But Jesus looked at him and he said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house, for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. Verse 10 said, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that 
which was lost. Aren't you glad for it? Amen. Amen. I've spoke my piece. I feel better. And I'm glad for him. Amen. I believe, Gary, we need to get back to what really matters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It ain't about we need money and now we need money, more money than we've ever had before. Right. And uh, it takes money to survive. Yes, 